this expert panel and they have agreed to it. Former Director General of the Department of Communities, Linda Appelt, very well respected. Of course, everyone knows Braveheart's founder and chair, Hetty Johnson. Former Queensland Police Services Assistant Commissioner, Ethical Standards Commander, Paul Doyle. And of course, Foster Care Queensland Executive Director, uh, Brian Smith. The panel will help develop and support the implementation of recommendations to improve foster care and blue card systems. We do have a vigorous system to approve foster carers and blue card holders, but where we can make improvements in this state, we absolutely will. We will also work with other states to progress a proposal for a national reportable conduct scheme to improve how we respond to allegations of child abuse and neglect across our borders. So once again, I want to thank the expert panel uh, for agreeing to do this uh, report. Uh, uh, Cheryl reports directly to me. And I know that from the first report, uh, she left no stone unturned. And I know that uh, she will carry out uh, her duties uh, with the dedication and responsibility that exists with being uh, the position of a commissioner in this state. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you very much, Premier. And um, thank you, Premier, for um, putting uh, trust in the Queensland Family and Child Commission to undertake this uh, important and rigorous examination and investigation of two aspects of our child protection system in Queensland. And I do want to remember Tiali Palmer as well, uh, her tragic death, the tragic circumstances of her death, and think of the, um, the shame, if you like, that she had to die um, uh, a lot to bring about change in our system. But we are continuing this process of uh, rigorous uh, examination and reform uh, to all parts of the child protection system. And you'll remember that the um, Child Protection uh, Commission of Inquiry uh, in its recommendations um, talked about uh, the importance of being agile, uh, responsive, uh, quick to change, uh, to adjust, uh, and we are intending to do just that. So in this examination, uh, we want to make sure that Queensland's children are more than safe. Uh, and that's an important thing for us to remember. As our examination, our investigation uh, progresses with the help of our expert uh, advisory group, uh, advisory panel, if we see something that needs fixing uh, at any particular time or immediately, then we will make sure that we uh, consult and, make, uh, and ensure that that change happens. So it's not a static process. Uh, it, change will happen as we progress. Uh, we've already begun work in um, setting up um, uh, an expert, um, a, a technical panel with expertise around uh, the processes to do with working with children checks in Queensland uh, and to do with the approval and uh, assessments of foster carers. So we are already underway. Uh, at the heart of this uh, whole process is, of course, um, rigorous checks on uh, individuals' histories, uh, information sharing uh, between departments, and uh, continuing to uh, maintain a rigor rigorous oversight uh, of um, uh, all people with uh, uh, blue cards, as we call our working with children checks in Queensland. And in uh, Queensland, we have uh, 625,000 uh, blue card holders, uh, and we know that over 2,000 of them uh, were knocked back, applications were knocked back uh, to ensure that um, people who should not be blue card holders did not um, uh, work their way into the system. So there's lots to examine. Uh, it has to be a rigorous process, as the Premier has said, uh, and I look forward to building on the work uh, that has begun with our previous report when a child is missing. Oh. Thank you, Premier. Thanks, Cheryl. What 
The, uh, well, we have uh, Brian, who's actually a part of this expert panel, and I do want to pay tribute to uh, the large number of people that take up the responsibility of being foster carers for our most vulnerable children in our state. And as we know, the majority of people are doing the right things. We do have a system of community visitor checks. If we can enhance that system, I'm more than happy to look at that. Premier, you've been away for um, most of this week. Um, the town of Palmer story has been the biggest story in Queensland. Why has it taken you an entire almost six days and almost looking like you're reacting to calls from the opposition yesterday for an external review to take this kind of action? Uh, no, that's not correct because the Minister for Child Safety did address this issue during the week. Um, and of course, the acting Premier, uh, Curtis Pitt, was also available. Uh, and I had my first break uh, since January. Um, I have come back to work. I've been working yesterday extensively in the office. And I've been working today, meeting with the expert panel and talking to Cheryl Varden about ways that we can improve our child protection system in this state. And as I said, it'll be thorough and it will be, uh, it will be uh, rigorous and we will get to the bottom of it. The other thing I want to say too is a couple of things. Uh, Cheryl and the expert panel now need to get on with their job. The police and the court system need to get on with their job that is the uh, Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk announcing a review of the child protection system in Queensland.